Yes, sir, we're officially back at it. This is Boog Nice coming at you with the Medicone Mafex, the Dark Knight movie Harvey Dent figure review. Let's do it. This ain't for no scalper. No, no. You a scalper? Then fuck, fuck out shit. Out. This one for them real collectors. Yeah. That's army building and posing figures. Yeah. Marvel legends, imports, yeah. many maybe I'm fucking with. High beast we know about you. Stay buying figs, don't. And a quick look at the artwork on the side of the box. You can see the Mafex logo. It says the Dark Knight Trilogy and a picture of the figure. And on the opposite side. All right, so I have Harvey Dent, a.k.a. Two-Face, out of the package. And Mafex did a pretty good job on this figure. I don't have too many complaints. I have one major complaint overall that I'll get into shortly. Uh, but this looks like it may be the same buck that they utilized for the Scarecrow figure with different shoes, obviously a different head. I will see when I do some size comparisons, but like I said, overall, I think it's a solid uh, figure here from Mafex. To be quite honest, I haven't been fully invested in the uh, characters from the Batman trilogy, but I've been picking up the villains because I always like to pick up villains from every line and because the villains have been in suited bodies and I've been building up my uh, just normal goons and stuff to use with other Mafex heroes and stuff like that. So uh, I had to pick this guy up basically and uh, you know I'm not disappointed like I said pretty decent. And taking a close look at his deco before I swap on his accessories as you can see they did a really good job with half in this guy and making them look awesome from both sides. I think they did a good job especially with the burnt half. You can see his teeth through, through his uh, jaw there. And I think the likeness to the character is definitely there, especially with the other uh, normal head. Uh, but my major gripe is the hair. And you'll see it more and more prominently stupid looking on the other head scope. But I don't know why his hair is gold. This is the SH Figure Watch treatment here on the Mafex figure. You know, I've uh, complained about that a lot with SHF figures that they make uh, the characters who are supposed to be blonde gold headed and even some of the ones that are not supposed to be blonde and they're brunette have this gold highlight and uh, Mafex seems to be uh, afflicted with the same stupid disease I don't know what's going on here but other than that everything else looks pretty good you can see the burnt side uh, you know it's not burnt all the way down I'm not sure if it was like that in the movie but his actual suit and the deco looks to be uh, movie accurate and you can see his tie and his shoes and you know not much going on here gray suit out of the package he came with these two open hands with the fingers semi spread and he also came with a couple of fists and you should definitely be careful swapping these on Mafex has had a lot of problems in the past with the wrist pegs and this right uh, peg was a little hard to get the fist on there and he's got a couple of fully open hands and you should definitely heat these hands up as you're swapping them just to be fully cautious and then he's got a right hand with the trigger finger extended so let's get into the accessory that goes with that hand and he's packed in with the trusty revolver the six shot shooter and you can see that it's chrome with the uh, rubber grip handle it seems like that looks pretty good no issues getting it in his hand you can see his finger is uh, pretty much in the trigger groove so that looks good and he's got a couple of purple nurple hands and uh, these will actually be utilized for him to hold his coins, uh, which he's packed in with. So let's break those out. And these things are so tiny that I don't even know how well they're showing up. Hopefully you can see that. But he's got a coin. Uh, he's got two of those, actually. So uh, you got two coins. Focus. I hope that's showing up. And then he's also got a button. So all movie accurate stuff here. And let's see how well he holds them. There you go. There's a look at him holding the button. And I think that looks really cool. But this thing is tiny. You definitely need to be cautious with swapping this on in and out of his hands. And uh, even when it's in the package and you have the clamshell sealed, I noticed that a lot of Mafex figures, they don't seal as tight as some of the clamshells for... Uh, some of the other import figures so things can still shake around in that package so you definitely want to put some tape over the area where the coins and the uh, button sit in the package and there he is holding the coin so again screen accurate looks dope I don't really have any issues with this and it was a nice touch for them to put something so tiny 
uh, but so um, essential to the character. And then his final accessory allows you to swap out his jacket and swap the head and put him back to normal Harvey Dent so he doesn't look all burnt up and crispy. He reminds me of uh, Fire Marshal Bill, actually, if you're old enough to remember that. But yeah, you pop the head off, <clears throat> but not there. Actually, it's supposed to pop off at the neck. And that's not supposed to come out. <laughs> Mafex, man, sometimes they just be all over the place. I, I was messing around with them last night, and when I took this off, the same thing happened. I ended up having to do some hot water to fix this. So uh, let me let me do that off camera one second. So yeah, the neck and head is supposed to pop off in one part, and that peg is supposed to remain in the upper torso. And then you can pop the arms off here at the side, and then you can slip the jacket off. Then you have the normal jacket that's not burnt, and you can slip that right on. And his right arm is already uh, normal, so you can just pop that back in, like so. And then they pack in another arm, and there's that. And once you plug that in, then you're going to need to remove the hand from the burnt arm. Uh, swap that on, and then we'll put the head on. And there's that. And that looks good, man. I think his neck looks a little long, but I guess the actor's neck was kind of long, too. Uh, I do think they got a good likeness to Aaron Eckhart. Um, when I was swapping it out last night and I removed the entire peg from the upper torso and just sat the head and neck in there, it, it sat on there better, uh, in my opinion. It looked better. Maybe I'll show that real quick. But overall, I think he looks clean, and I think the, uh, the likeness is definitely there, man. My only gripe, like I said is this hair it looks stupid as hell i don't know why they would make his hair gold gold is not blonde come on import companies what are you guys doing they even got his little butt chin no which is good and there i took the peg out and i'm gonna just sit his head in there without the peg and i think that sits better i think it looks better looks more natural Going over his articulation, as you saw, there was a ball peg at the uh, top of the neck and, and the torso at the bottom, but the head moves independently of the neck and then the neck moves as well. You get a very nice range of motion, circular, full 360, it can pivot, uh, no issues moving the head. Shoulders or on ball joints, they come up pretty far. You can do a full 360. You get an upper bicep swivel that's kind of embedded in the shoulder there. It's not like a Marvel Legend or anything where it's uh, out here at the actual bicep, but it works fine. Uh, you get a little bit more than 90 degrees. I guess I consider that double jointed on the elbow, swivel and a hinge on the wrist. You do get a little upper torso articulation as far as going back and forward. Uh, it's on a ball peg in there, double ball peg, so you can see that. But you know what, while I have him in half, let you see there's some uh, range at the lower abdomen as well and he'll turn left to right. Uh, you can get the leg up just about that far. You can see uh, a double sort of bell ball peg thing in there. Uh, it'll swivel just a little bit at the upper thigh. You do get a little bit more than 90 degrees on the knee. You get a swivel and a hinge and a pivot on the foot and also a toe joint. Let me get this guy back together. That was a pain in the ass to get that back. But it should be noted that this area here on his buttocks, on the uh, pelvis basically, this is uh, a very soft uh, plastic. So utilizing the articulation on the legs, uh, it doesn't hinder it at all and it works pretty well. It's a nice buck. It's a nice uh, body, like I said, if you don't want to use it for its intended purpose and you want to, you know, have some goons for Mafex, then you're definitely on the, on the right track with this guy. All right, moving right along. And a few quick size comparisons. You can see Scarecrow on the left and Joker on the right. And I said I wasn't fully invested into these, but it looks like I've been picking up the villains at least. I didn't pick up Bane. I didn't pick up Catwoman. I don't know if you would really consider her a villain, sort of like an anti-hero. Uh, I kind of want to go back and get Bane, sort of, uh, again, maybe just for the, the base buck and maybe just to kit bash it or customize it or whatever the case may be. Uh, but like I mentioned, it does look like Scarecrow and uh, Two-Face share the same buck for the most part. It's just that uh, Scarecrow has the boots th instead of uh, the shoes and obviously the suit colors are, are different, but again... You're on the right path to building up some some goons. And there he is next to the old Dark Knight Batman on the right. I think that was the first one they put out. The one that has a broken hand on mine. And uh, it's barely holding on to that little peg. I, I tried to have him repaired, but 
it didn't work out as well as I wanted it to. And then on the left, the uh, Justice League Batman. Um, Mafex has done better with uh, uh, Dark Knight Batman 2 and 3.0. I think they've had three so far, maybe four. Uh, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but um, a lot of people still like the look of this first one though. And there he is next to the Marvel Legends Apocalypse Builder Figure Wave Wolverine on the left. And the, I don't even know what line made this figure, but it's from the Percy Jackson movie. And that's little Percy Jackson there. And people always ask me about this figure and every uh, six months or so I'll, I'll break him out and show him and, and tell you about him but I just recently put him in a shot that should be popping up here and um, and this figure is quite expensive on the secondary market right now originally his hair was brown but I had painted his hair blonde to work as uh, Phobos as Ares uh, son uh, but for whatever reason, this figure goes for like hundreds and hundreds of dollars online right now. And there he is next to the tra Transformers Masterpiece Will Jack on the right. Somebody help me transform all my Transformers, goddammit. And uh, on the left, we got the Star Wars Black Series Snoke sitting on a Pokemon. <laughs> All right, I'm getting silly. I'm getting out of here. I do think that Two-Face came out pretty nice. I think Mafex is continuously making some strides in the right direction. They have gotten better and better. Um, my two major issues with this guy is the hair and the swaps with the hands on the right hand in particular. So you definitely need to be careful and cautious as you are swapping. Mafex is known for some breakage, especially at the wrist, as you saw my Batman from way back when uh, was uh, was damaged, was broken. But um, again, for me personally, I think this was worth a purchase because I am building up all of my goons, no question about it. Mafex is going to be putting out a John Wick uh, soon at some point, so I need some other suited guys for my John Wick to go up against. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this purchase overall. I will say that Mafex is getting quite expensive for the casual collector. So you definitely need to make the right decisions if you are not a person who is uh, has their own job and working and whatever the case may be. I've said this before. Uh, but yeah, man, uh, I got a couple things going on before I get out of here. Let you guys know. Follow me on Instagram. I did something uh, yesterday yesterday. I kind of did some mob shit <laughs> and broke away from some of some of the groups. But I have a I had a drawing for the uh, uh, Mezco Batman Beyond on my Instagram. And right now, as I record this, I have the two uh, unmasked Power Rangers, the SHF Power Rangers. And it's only a few slots left for that. I'll be doing another Batman and I'll be doing a couple of Master Roshis and just clearing out some of my stuff from SDCC. So you should absolutely follow me on Instagram if you're interested in getting involved with that. And I'm also giving away one of the SHF Power Poles for Goku, which is open right now until next Saturday as well. So follow me on Instagram, get involved with those things. I'm going to be giving away for free uh, quite a few different things over the past, over the next couple of weeks as well. Uh, don't don't let these guys fool you, man. Anybody who's um, doing reviews at at least my level, because I'm on the low end of the the totem pole. To to be perfectly honest, I'm not even where I should be as far as uh, views and subscribers for the amount of time that I've been on YouTube. But I haven't been really uh, going in as far as reviews go. Uh, but anybody who's at my level, at least or anywhere above. They're getting a lot of free shit, all right? <laughs> They're getting a lot of perks and a lot of things from the companies, and they should be giving away stuff, and I should be giving away stuff, so I will be. And um, one person in particular who's always <laughs> saying first on my videos, I, I, I forget his name, but uh, but I'm going to send you something, man, actually. Just um, uh, comment on this video. I'm sure you'll comment on this video, and, uh, and uh, I'll... Uh, Give you instructions on how to PM me. I'm, I'm gonna send you something, but I'll be giving away quite a few things on my Instagram. And uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out. As always, rate, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, peace. That's crispy.